Hey, with uh, Alexander Johnson, what kind of you know leadership role are you seeing him taking on? Is it is it more so this year, just you know going into year two of, of him being a full time starter? Yeah, I think with both of us, it's uh, we're being able to work a lot better together. You know, with a couple of years under our belts together, um, and leadership from him is, is pretty good. You know, he's he's a vocal guy. Um, and he'll tell you when you're right or wrong, and uh, you know he'll get those huddles broke and stuff like that. And I think. Uh, we're just doing a great job. And I think everybody's doing a good job right now of keeping people accountable and uh, working hard during this uh, OCA time. And then Vic said that he's looking for Alexander to, you know, be more sound in his assignments this year. Have, how have you seen him, I guess, progress since you started playing with him and, and just in, in harnessing, you know, his athleticism and what he can do within the system? Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not like the easiest defense ever um, by any means. It's, it's, it's pretty complex, which is great because it gives us a lot of options to do different things. Um, and, you know, maybe in the first year he had a couple, uh, a couple missed assignments and stuff like that. But, you know, you can tell definitely in this year he's more assignment driven. He's understanding of the defense, um, understanding his role, what, are people, what people are doing around him. Um, and I'm sure he would say the same thing. Thanks, Josie. Let's go, Ryan, and then Zach. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Josie, yeah, two for you. First one for you personally, what's been the focus of your offseason uh, improvement? Um. You know, there's been a, a couple different things. It's, it's the short area quickness um, to be able to, you know, cover people in, um, you know, within that five, 10 yard range, what we usually get. Um, and then trying to work on a long speed and just trying to, uh, you know, get overall upper body strength uh, increased to play the box better uh, year by year. So and those are a couple of them, but I can't, I don't, I don't think I can keep them down to a couple. I think there's, you know, multiple things I tried to work on this off season to try to better myself, to put myself and this team in a, in a better situation. And then uh, secondly, from a scheme standpoint, you get Vaughn back, you add three corners. How can that free you up the Vic, for Vic to use you in some different ways? Yeah, I mean, our rush is going to be pretty dang good, it seems like, with the guys we have and with the corners we have. Uh, it's pretty exciting uh, just to see those guys out there every day and see what they can do because they are, they are nothing short of spectacular. Um, so, you know, yeah, it frees us up to be able to, you know, maybe lurk the middle a little more, uh, be able to go off quarterback eyes, um, and just to be able to kind of roam around sometimes. But we'll see how he wants to use it. I mean, we just got to, uh, right now there's a lot of potential, and, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Let's go, Zach, and then George. Go ahead, Zach. Josie, with all of those corners and, and, and defensive backs on the team, do you expect even more dime and nickel this year? Uh, and just what does that do to the linebacking core? How do you envision that playing out this year? Yeah, I think it just depends how, you know, camp goes with – how many bodies we got, how healthy people stay. Um, and, you, and you could see it, you know, I mean, you have great, this many great corners. Um, he could be using all of them and, and we could be in more dime and stuff like that, but then it depends how we play the run. So um, really depends how this whole off season goes. Uh, the rest of this, the rest of OTA is mandatory mini camp. And then uh, as camp moves along, um, we'll get a better understanding, but yeah, a lot of potential. Let's go George Stoya followed by Mike Kliss. Go ahead, George. You should be unmuted now. Go ahead. Hey, Josie. Um, you, you, you kind of answered it in the last two questions a little bit, but you mentioned the rush and, and the corners. Just what's the ceiling for this defense, and how do you, I guess, um, not have too high of expectations, or, or how do you, I guess, um, you know, go into the season not with your heads too big because there's a lot of people thinking this defense can be something pretty special. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I think we just go day by day. Uh, we don't try to get ahead of ourselves, like you said, um, and don't think too much uh, about the future yet. I mean, you got to have some goals and stuff like that, um, some short area goals and long area goals. But really, we just need to take it day by day, see how we progress, try to stay healthy, um, keep, everybody keep learning the defense, uh, and see where we end up. I think if we just kind of you know, keep our nose to the grindstones and, and take it day by day, I think we'll have a great chance of being a great defense. Let's go, Mike, and then Troy Rank. Go ahead, Mike, Liz. Yeah, Josie, um, I was looking up your bio a little bit today. You made a lot of tackles, um, a lot of tackles before you got here. You made a lot of tackles here. I was just wondering, uh, I know you're only 26, but are you starting to feel that a little bit more in your body? And do you take any extra precautions each offseason, knowing that you're in collisions as much as you are? Um, I wouldn't say I feel it any differently. I feel pretty dang good, actually, for being 26, um, which in the NFL seems to be, you know, somewhat kind of old. Um, 
but yeah, definitely a little more precautions on, you know, maybe during the off season, get a little more stretching in, uh, getting more uh, soft tissue work, you know, going to the chiropractor um, and just making sure, you know, you're doing your best work and your best job at staying healthy during the off season um, and then giving yourself a good um, head start on the season. So, yeah, I mean, I think you just got to keep on taking care of your body. And I think as you get older, you'd have to put a little more money into it. If you no longer have a question, please lower your hand. We've got time for a couple more. Let's go to Troy Rank, followed by Nick Kosmeyer. Yeah, so you admitted, uh, you said you told us you added upper body strength. You look bigger. At what Are you playing at a different weight? Then I have a follow-up. Um, yeah, so I gained a couple pounds. I think last year I was maybe 233, um, and I've been up to 236, 237, and stuff like that. Um, and we'll just see how I feel during uh, these rest of these OTAs and Mandalorian mini camp, and then um, see how I feel during camp to see if I need to shed a few pounds or, or stay up there, just depending on what my job's going to be this year. And I can see your excitement about this defense, understandable with the, all the additions, but to be great, you got to get takeaways. Is that a priority? Do you guys talk about that independent of what your offense does that how do we get more takeaways to change and flip the field? Yeah, that was, that was a huge thing last year. Uh, towards the end of the season, we were trying to, their coaches were tr really trying to instill in us um, and players were trying to talk to each other about it and trying to find out how we get more. Um, and I think this, uh, these OTAs were really working on that to, you know, be able to read eyes, be able to play the defense the best uh, and, and just to be able to understand it and understand how to put ourselves in the best situation, um, you know, maybe on a wide receiver, on a tight end to get that interception or how to be able to attack the ball um, with a running back coming through the hole or somebody just catching the ball and transitioning it to their arms, um, how we can poke that ball out. So, Definitely as a linebacker group, we need more takeaways this, uh, this year. We've got time for three more. We'll go Nick and then Brandon, then Ryan. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Jesse, last, last year in training camp, you were playing side by side with Justin Sternot until he got until he got hurt with the wrist injury. What's just been your impression of how he's kind of, um, you know, working his way back into the mix and, um, you, you know, kind of just progressing off the little opportunity that he had last year to be on the field? Yeah, I think he's done a great job. Um, you know, he didn't have a lot of time to, you know, get into the rhythm last year, understand the defense. Um, so, you know, he's still a little bit behind with the defense, understanding the knowledge of it. Um, but he's definitely coming along fast for where he's at. I mean, uh, I think anybody would be at the same scenario as him if they didn't get the reps they did last, like they did, he didn't last year. Um, but he's understanding the defense pretty well now, moving forward uh, at a pretty fast rate. And, and he's, got, he's got pretty good speed and, and he can cover some people. So he's doing a great job. Go ahead, Brandon. Josie, I actually have two for you. The first is going back to adding speed. At 26, how hard is that to do, to get faster so you can cover better or get down in, in the hole or whatever it may be? Yeah, I think, I think it's just finding that right rhythm um, and right, uh, right daily mindset and workout slash running routine uh, that fits you the best. And I think this offseason, um, I did a little bit of Landau stuff and a little bit of one of our old strength coaches from Iowa stuff. Um, and really feel very good about, you know, my hamstrings and how I'm moving and um, short area quickness and walk speed uh, compared to the previous years. And then last year going into the season, you told us you wanted to be a starter. Then you became a starter. And yes, Justin Sternod, you've got competition behind you. But do you feel entrenched as that starter? And how does that change your approach? Um, I feel pretty good right now. I, I feel like, uh, uh, you know, it's your job to lose pretty much at this scenario, this situation. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to keep on going out there every day and try to get better um, and try to show the team that I'm a good leader, a great player, um, and a great person out there. So, you know, it's just going to be day in, day out, keep on working, and, um, and hopefully that works out. Ryan, go ahead. Finish us off. Hey, Josie, you had a lot of success blitzing. I think it was in that Jet game last year. How's the politicking going to Vic and Reggie about letting you do that more? And are they, they going to hear you out on that? Yeah, I haven't been saying too much yet. Maybe we'll wait till uh, camp comes and see how much, how many times they blitz me. But uh, yeah, I'm okay with doing that more and uh, being able to get in the backfield and screw some things up. So hopefully we will, but we'll see as the, as the year goes along. All right, that's going to do it, Josie. Thank thanks so much for taking the time. We truly appreciate Thank it. You.